Nations, mm -hmm. wonderful movie. Um, what was your reaction when you first heard the story that um, prisoners were training horses? Well, she read an article about it. And yeah. Then yeah, I mean, I, I, when I read Animal Therapy in prison, and I, I thought it was such a, a wonderful idea, I was very intrigued about this, what was really going on, and how like those, those, those relationships were affecting the, the, the men. So I decided to research and to go to, to, um, to multiple prisons, and, and I ended up being in Nevada and observing all those type of training between this, those horses and men, and, and to see like all those different uh, connections, but very unique, very mm -hmm. singular, and how they were like uh, discovering and completely blossoming after, after this, those different steps. And yeah. Did, did you have to do research too? for your role? Yeah, well, we, um, in, in uh, the year before we started shooting the film, we went to visit a couple of, uh, actually three maximum security prisons where we had the chance to spend time, a lot of time with inmates and had, um, yeah, you know, an enormous amount of, you know, dialogue about what their experience was for them uh, inside the facility and, and, and how did they get there and all that. So th that was uh, extremely inspirational and that absolutely helped me create the, the, the emotional silhouette of, of this character for sure. How much uh, preparation for either on the directing side or the acting side with, with the horses before the, the production actually started? Um, it was, it was Definitely a process to find the horses and to have them trained. Mm. And then um, Matthias and the cinematographer Ruben in Pants and I went with at the horse trainer's place so that we could rehearse uh, the choreography and kind of like the you know the the the, the arc of each scenes. And uh, and it took maybe two weeks uh, mm. of of deep training with him and. On, on the on, on the camera side and on the on the acting side. But I think yeah. we, we started like six months before I started to uh, spend time with the horse trainer and then go back to Belgium and continue and then uh, two weeks before we started shooting and then intensify the training and you know. Would you say you're a pretty good uh, horse rider now? Well, then, I'm, I'm not gonna say pretty good but at least I'm not terrible. Uh, I started from scratch, I couldn't ride at all. So I started from scratch. I'm not going to pretend I'm really good, but I'm definitely not terrible. As you can see in the movie, I'm pretty decent. No, he always said that. Yeah, you know, no, he's, he's good. He did like actually, really some well. people thought I was going to get in a lot of trouble yes. to do, doing those scenes all by myself. <laughs> people thought, like, okay, let's, let's shoot those scenes by the end of the shoot. So if something goes wrong, we still have a movie. <laughs> and I was like, I'm going to prove them wrong. I'm going to show them that I can do this. But and a lot works. of people were scared because it was kind of a semi-wild horse which is still unpredictable and pretty scary to get on, especially if you're not a trained rider. But that's exactly the story of my character. So I was like, I don't, I want to be trained, but not overtrained, because otherwise I gotta, you know. Uh, but then I stunned everybody with my uh, riding skills. And I'm <laughs> very proud of it. It's true. It's Excellent. True. Well, hey, thank you very much. I appreciate it.